Hey, what's up everybody? This is Chicken Possible with Rewards Hunter back with another Xbox Game Pass weekly quest guide. Today we've got a relatively easy quest for the game Batman Arkham Knight and this is going to be worth 200 Microsoft Rewards points. This is good through next Tuesday, March 16th and we have to defeat 50 thugs within the game. This game is available on xCloud, but I'm going to recommend that you do this on Xbox because we're going to grab some DLC, which I know how to do on the Xbox. I'm going to show you that here. So let's go ahead and press A to get started. And you can start up a new game or start up an existing game slot if you already have one. It doesn't matter what difficulty, you can just press A to continue. And when you first start up the game, if you haven't downloaded any of the DLC before, you'll be missing the section that says AR Challenges. So we're going to click on Downloadable Content, which will take us out to the Microsoft Store, and we're going to grab some free DLC for this game. So if you move over to the right, there should be a DLC pack that's available for free that's called the Crime Fighter Challenge Pack 6. This one is going to be really good for us to grab a bunch of thugs quickly and defeat them. So let's go ahead and download that and get that installed. That'll take a couple of minutes to uh, install onto your system. Then we will switch back over to the game and we'll have that AR challenges section that's going to be available to us. And then now you'll see the AR challenges is available up towards the top. So let's click on AR challenges. And on the combat challenges, I'm going to recommend the third one down, the one that says Monarch Theater. So let's go ahead and start that one up. And basically this is just going to be waves of enemies to fight against, waves of thugs. So no more searching around in the streets of Gotham trying to find groups of thugs. They're just going to be sitting right here in the theater for us and they're just going to be attacking us right away, wave after wave. Now, as you can imagine, the waves do get a bit more difficult, so we've got a fix for that as well. But let's start out in the first wave here. We've got five enemies ready to be taken out. So if you haven't played Arkham Knight before, basically you're just pressing X a lot to attack the enemies. And whenever you see that blue, uh, the sort of blue lightning bolts appear over their heads, that means they're about to attack you and you can counterattack them by pressing the Y button. So it's sort of just a mixture of X and Y here. And I, I would recommend trying to attack whoever looks the strongest at the moment. You know, if you see somebody still standing and, uh, and they look like they're about to attack you, then go after that person. So it's just a matter of managing the fight and trying to take everybody out. So this first wave of enemies, not too difficult. So we got five easy ones there. Wave 2 is not too bad. They usually have 6 enemies for you in this one, so a total of 11 in the first 2 waves. And you'll see sometimes I do get charged. I'll show you a workaround for the, the charging issue in just a second, a way to get past that. So that's when the guys get the red uh, lightning bolts over their head and they seem kind of unstoppable. So just continuing to hit X and then I got charged by somebody else there with the red lightning bolts. I'll show you how to how to get past that in a second. And I would prioritize the people that have knives too. If you see a guy that has a knife, try to take him out first if you can. Try to knock that knife out of his hand just by pressing X. You can attack him and make him drop it eventually. All right, so that's enemy number 11 right there. And we're moving on to the third wave. Now the third wave, you'll see these guys have these cattle prods and that makes the fight a lot more difficult. So let's press start and go down to restart and yes. And we're going to set ourselves back to the very first wave. So basically the pattern is we're just going to fight these same 11 enemies over and over again. So you'll want to restart the challenge four times after that first time, so five five times through it total, and you should unlock the quest in the middle of your fifth time through. So I mentioned a minute ago the guys with the red lightning bolts over their head that seem to tackle you and take you down to the ground or, or charge you, and I'm going to show you how to bypass those. Here comes one from the upper section of the screen. If you double tap the A button, Batman will kind of flip over that guy, and the guy will just charge and fall over basically. So you want to hit that hit that A button twice, and after you've gone through it five times, or four and a half times, I guess I should say, the quest should unlock for you. 
So we'll go ahead and turn that in and grab those 200 Microsoft Rewards points. And that is going to do it for Batman Arkham Knight. We're going to have a guide coming out for Max and the Curse of the Brotherhood a little bit later on today. So stay tuned for that one. And thanks for watching, y'all. Thanks for watching, guys. If you found that video helpful, please be sure to click the subscribe button on YouTube and hit that bell for notifications. You can also find links in the description for other social media links of mine. Stay tuned for more Microsoft rewards and achievement guides, and I'll see you in the next one.